What's up, guys? Time for a hot sauce review. It's been forever since I reviewed some hot sauce. Um, I reviewed a barbecue sauce not too long ago. It was Motor City Barbecue Sauce. It was recommended by Ted Barris to me, and it was phenomenal. And I did those reviews, and I told you how much I like the sauce, and those bottles are all empty. And, uh, in fact, today I opened a package, and here's what I got. And as you can see, I am a huge, huge fan of the sauce. And I'm going to do some videos this summer uh, testing it out on some different foods, maybe on chicken and ribs and barbecue and all kinds of stuff. But phenomenal, phenomenal barbecue sauce. And they did um, come up with a name. Trinity is the uh, name the flame sauce winner. So the uh, the hottest in the, the collection is uh, called Trinity now. But uh, anyway, this video is about this hot sauce, which is randomly sent to me. This is uh, Handlebar Hot Sauce. And referring to the handlebar mustache. And this came in a little box two days ago with this little card, handlebar hot sauce. And here's the contact information, which you won't be able to see, so I'll read it. Yeah, you can't see that. Um, Bryce McCharles is the contact. Uh, the number direct to this company, 760-646-2655. And it's handlebarhotsauce.com. So... Um, no note, no nothing. Just hey, here it is. <laughs> Popped in my, my, uh, you know, my mail, and that's it. So I'm gonna review it. Uh, I want some heat, and this one, this particular one, is Trinidad Mango Madness. So I'm hoping there's some Trinidad Scorpions in here. So let's see what the ingredients are. Uh, it says using the hottest chilies in the world. Okay, cool. This sauce packs in the heat with tons of flavor and mild sweetness for the mango and spice blend. Uh, enjoy the flavor as much as the heat. You will definitely get plenty of both. It's good on pulled pork, fish tacos, blah, blah, blah. Just some suggestions. Let's see. Where are the ingredients? Okay, ingredients. Vinegar, onion, mango, jalapeno pepper, cilantro, Trinidad, seven pot peppers. Awesome. Hopefully a lot of them because I've been uh, on a, a spice kick. I haven't had anything spicy in a long time. Anything like, you know, really spicy. Um, salt, habanero peppers, Trinidad scorpion peppers, garlic, cumin, uh, regular pepper, like black pepper, lime juice, stone ground mustard, water, mustard seed, vinegar, um, oh, vinegars, there's white vinegar, distilled vinegar, red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar, sugar, spices, anthem gum, turmeric, citric acid, and annatto. I don't know what annatto is. A-N-N-A-T-T-O. In the comments, let me know about an auto because I have no idea I never heard of it all right so we have let's see one one two three three types of vinegars and the peppers again are jalapeno Trinidad seven pot habanero and Trinidad scorpion so hopefully this thing it sounds hot but the question is how much of those peppers are in here I can hear it gurgling and splashing so it's a very runny sauce I can tell you that um, color on it is, well, diarrhea brown, which is not so appealing, but guess what I got? Oh, yes. The new one, the new Spyderco Cricut. It's the hot sauce knife. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is my hot sauce knife. <laughs> and, uh, I love hot sauce. So I'm excited. I really am. Cause I, I have not had, I mean, I'll tell you those pepper bumps, the ghost pepper bumps from, uh, bootpepper.com. I eat those on everything. That's like a staple for heat in my house. Um, if I want a little bit of spice on something, I'll use that before I use even most of the hot sauces that I have because it gives me heat. It gives me that amazing Ruchilokia flavor um, and not much else. And I can use that on you know pretty much anything I want to spice it up. But I haven't had hot sauce itself in a while. So I got my gold hot sauce spoon here, which um, it's got a little Einstein on it. You guys can't really see that. <laughs> Picture Einstein. I don't know why. But anyway, it's supposed to be conformed, so it, it's the most comfortable spoon to whatever. Let's put some hot sauce on it. All right. Whew, first impressions. Man, it's been a while since I had some hot sauce. Wow. All right. You get a huge punch of the peppers. Oh, the fresh cilantro, it, it smells like a Mexican restaurant, like a really good Mexican restaurant. They bring out those homemade tortilla chips. Oh, my God. And then the, the nice spicy salsa, freshly made. Really fresh scent in here. The cilantro is giving it that extra kind of 
oomph that I'm, I'm really liking. Um, as far as the peppers, I'm trying to see which one's most distinctive. I, I smell a blend of them. The, I think the, um, the Trinidad Scorpion is the strongest, but I definitely sense some uh, habanero in there, which is a very distinctive smell and flavor. And just a little bit of vinegar. I know there's a lot of different types of vinegar in here, but and of course that probably is the base of the sauce. But anyway, here we go. I have no milk, water, or nothing, no bread, all that crap. I'm just going to see how hot this thing is. And if it's really hot, I'll just sit here and suffer and you can watch me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shh. Not good. Almost cursed too. All right. Overflowing spoonful. It's not on my keyboard. It just missed, but it's annoying me that I can't clean up to watch the video. Now it's dripping on my fingers. So down the hatch. It's a hot one. Okay. Hmm. I haven't had hot sauce in a while. All right. Full mouth burn. Um, yeah, the, the burn is all over the entire mouth because of the variety of peppers. This is what I like in a hot sauce. Ooh, I almost, I almost feel like I'm going to hiccup. Um, there must be a lot of fresh pepper. I mean, you taste all the different peppers in here, which is a great sign for hot sauce. You don't want all vinegar and a little bit of pepper. You want it to be predominantly the pepper that it's featuring. I do. I feel like hiccups are coming. Um, heat is, uh, it's more than most people would want. It's tolerable. As you can see, I'm not crying, sweating, making faces, groaning or moaning. Um, but I feel it. <clears throat> It's almost hard to talk because the uh, the scorpion's attacking my throat, all the you know the whole throat, and um, the habanero is an all around burn. Sides of the tongue, roof of the mouth, my teeth, my gums. What a great mix of peppers to really give you a full experience, and the flavor is really great. What I like about this is the cilantro uh, scent is really fresh. I'm I have to keep swallowing my spit because I'm I'm starting to salivate and drool a lot with this sauce. Um, the flavor's fresh, it's pungent, the cilantro smells a lot stronger than it tastes, so if you're not a big fan of cilantro flavor, it's not predominant, the, the peppers are the star here, I and mean, I think all hot sauces, that's how it should be, at least for a pepper connoisseur, or someone who's a chili head, you want to taste the flavor of the pepper, that's supposed to be the main star or main ingredient of a sauce, you know, if you have onion and tomato and all the crap, that should be like little subtle hints after the pepper. Excuse me, I'm drooling like crazy. <clears throat> um, the all-around mouth burn is starting to, it peaked already, as far as time, if you keep a track out how long the video is, with full spoonful. That part's peaked, the habanero, um, the seven pot, scorpion, it, it's still lingering around. Um, it's nice, it's, it, 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 you know, hit, it hit a peak, but didn't drop down. It's it's kind of hit the peak and it's just steadily, you know, slowly going to go down. You know, it's uh, the worst is over. So if you're someone who can't handle a whole lot of heat and this ends up being a little bit hot for you, it's not you're not going to suffer for a while. This would be great directly on food. It's not hot enough where you only need it for a substitute um, of like say a uh, an extract or something. It's not just a food additive. You can put this directly on tacos, directly on. Um, a steak if you wanted to, you can put it on a sandwich just to uh, give it a little something something. Um, let me taste a little bit more just to give you more about the, the flavor. Because the peppers are the star. But I want to see what else I'm getting here. Alright, you do get, um, you do get a vinegar uh, flavor. Initially it was such a, a punch of heat that I didn't, I didn't detect the, uh, the flavors of that, but yeah, the base is all those different vinegars. It's a nice balance. It's not, I know a lot of vinegar type, uh, vinegar based sauces people don't like because it's too vinegary, really. Um, some people prefer like lime or citrus juice as a base. It's not bad. 80% of the flavor of this sauce, it really is the, the peppers, or the star. And I think that's what makes a, any successful hot sauce. I got it all over the cap. So, yeah. Handlebar, hot sauce, 
Trinidad Mango Madness. I can tell you I don't taste a single bit of mango in this sauce, but there's a nice, pleasant, um, gentle sweetness. It's not sweet dessert sauce. It's not overly sweet, um, but you do taste a little bit of sweetness in there. And actually, it tastes like the natural sweetness of the peppers. Oh, man, a drool fest with this thing. So um, you expect the drool when you have this. This is a this is actually a really fantastic sauce. It's got quite a bit of punch, but it's not overwhelming. I really like this. Handlebar hot sauce. Um, the only disappointment is, I mean, mango's in the title, and when you have a flavor in the title, you want to taste that flavor. I got nothing. No mango. But I do taste the Trinidad, and it is kind of madness for most people. Uh, also, I'm rereading the uh, ingredients after tasting it. I don't taste onion. Um, cumin. I do pick up a little bit of the cumin in here and the mustard seed. Um, there is sugar in here, so that's where some of the sweetness is coming from. But, you know, mango is the third ingredient, and you'd think that it'd be uh, more flavor there. So, yeah. It's a fantastic sauce. Just don't expect the mango flavor. That's all. So whoever sent it, thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it. And there's another hot sauce review. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Well, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.